All right, good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We're talking quick and fast about a player in England by the name of Jaden Anthony. You guys see the banner at the end of your screen. Bournemouth's Jaden Anthony speaks. Now, this is another UK born player who is eligible to represent Jamaica, right? And there are a lot of them, you know, over there in the UK and overseas born players as well all around the world that is eligible to represent Jamaica. I'm going to speak on this particular or bring this one to your attention for those, for those of you who might not have seen it or might have missed it because I don't think this particular player as of right now would be on the England radar, right? He is 23 years old, just turned 23. So he's old, two or too old rather to represent the England U21s. And as of now, he is currently an impact player, impact substitute at Bournemouth in the English Premier League. So I don't think he would be on the radar of the England national senior team. Seen and truth be told, in all honesty, nowhere near it. So I'm going to speak a little bit about some comments he made recently as it pertains to his Jamaican heritage, right? Uh, some interesting stuff I thought I would share with you guys quick and fast. All right, Cherry's winger, Jaden Anthony, insisted he would not rush any decisions over his international allegiance, right? So his name again, Jaden Anthony, winger at Bournemouth in the English Premier League. The former Arsenal youngster confirmed he was eligible to represent both England and Jamaica, right? With his parents hailing from the latter. But in an interview with the Beautiful Game podcast, the 22-year-old insisted he was in no hurry to think about which nation he would represent. Asked whether he had a preference of which country to play for, Anthony said, no, I don't. My mom and my dad are both from Jamaica as well. I have got good heritage from there. It would be an honor to represent either. Let me repeat, and this is me quoting Jaden Anthony. It would be an honor to represent either. One of my teammates, Jamal Lowe, plays for Jamaica. When I remember Jamal Lowe, don't forget about Jamal Lowe, you know, still baller, you know. He's always saying you need to come. I have only been playing professional football for two years. I don't want to rush any decisions. We will see what happens. And all of that, is me quoting Jaden Anthony from the podcast that he did. Seeing so that is Jaden Anthony. His stats are on the screen for you guys right now. Hold on, let me change it up so you guys can see it. There you go. Those are his stats on screen. This season, he has made 10 Premier League appearances for Bournemouth. Only one of them came as a starter, but, you know, Still an integral part of that Bournemouth setup for him to have made so many appearances off the bench for Bournemouth. Right? Ten appearances this season, two goals in the Premier League this season, zero assists. He also featured in the EFL Cup, right? Two appearances in the EFL Cup and scored one goal for Bournemouth in the EFL Cup. He was a starter in the championship last season. Right, started most of their games for Bournemouth last season in the English League Championship, for those of you who don't know. And he would have made 45 appearances in the Championship last season, scoring eight goals and registering six assists. Seeing? So hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about Jaden Anthony. Right, just some interesting comments I thought that you know, I'd share with you guys. Um, in case you guys missed it, Jamal Law, Agent Law, 
Agent Low, right? Agent Low playing a pivotal role in trying to bring this player into the fold, right? Again, he's a winger, predominantly a winger, right? So for those of you who know the player, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. Certainly a player that, you know, I think we should be interested in for sure. I think it's a player that can do good things for us and can add value for us, right? Seems to have a lot of respect for his Jamaican heritage. So that's a, also a positive thing. I understand the reasons that he's giving for not rushing it. He's a young professional. Seen? He's a young professional. So I, I, I get that. And he's still young, 23 years old. There's no telling when you're dealing with players 23, 22, 21, 20 years old, even as old as 24, even 25, right? You just don't know what the future holds for them, right? You don't know how good they can become. This boy is at an age where, trust me, a season from now, two seasons from now, he could well blow up and become a very good player in the English Premier League. He's already contributing and adding value to an English Premier League team, right? So when you're dealing with a 23-year-old, you just don't know what the future holds. This season, there could be an impact sub. Next season, they could be tearing things up, right? So this seems as though it's a player that, you know, one cannot value to our setup now, and we don't know what the future holds. Could even a season or two from now could be adding even more value to our national team setup. Again, this one, I don't think he should be on the English radar. So, you know, I feel comfortable speaking on it. And uh, yeah, I think this is a player that we should reach out to and. Uh, you know, let him know that, you know, we see him over here and we rate him and him a ball. And, you know, our federation definitely needs to show interest in this particular player and let him know straight up, you know, that, you know, we are interested in you representing Jamaica and show that interest. So when he does reach to a point where he's ready to make that decision, you know, he thinks of Jamaica highly, especially if it gets to a stage where, you know, he gets, if he, if he does get to a stage where his career progresses to a level where he is of a credible enough talent to be hitting the English radar, right? And he feels that he's on their radar and, you know, he's giving performances that would reasonably imply that he's on their radar if that time were to come we would definitely have one to have built up if that situation would occur or does occur would want to have built up a good rapport with this particular player hit me in the comment section let me know what you think like share and subscribe take care stay safe guys and until next time